Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire. I'm your host, Bring It Dawn, and I found this nifty little hideout up here. I believe I'm still in. Whoa. Oh, it's a light. I thought the game was freaking out. Whew. All right, there's Cavendish and an unknown fellow. Mark my words, miss. These murders... Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. They have already there is. I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. Ichabod Crane, is that you? Let's be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. Probably treat that guy as Claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth, claws, murders by night. Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, m'lady. That tells me he wouldn't make it against a sewer dog. Evening, miss. I'm much more myself than when. Welcome back to the Turk. All right, let's see what we got here. We've already asked about all that. Um, yeah, where are you from? Excuse my curiosity, but. Where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. Exciting story. Sabrina, tell me about your true feelings for your boss. I love Tom. Not ashamed of it. Don't care if the customers joke about it, neither. Yeah, who's, who's mocking, mocking you? you? I mean, we're always together. People will talk, won't they? Does Tom love you? Yeah, but he's always reluctant to take it further. It's not because I'm younger, or because of the colour of my skin. He hates jokes about us. Okay. Um... Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. That's fair. All right, Vampire Hunter. Ichabod. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, Vampire Hunter Extraordinaire and Warden of the East End. A Vampire Hunter? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Oh, Mr. Thrawn, so very close. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. All right, uh, let's see here. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Oh, boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night. Investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. K 
Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Okay. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Hmm. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Goodbye. All right. Good evening. Sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dyson Delaney. All right, Let's see. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, <coughs> like everybody else. Sure, I wanted things to change, to really change, and to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Sounds like you were an idealist, which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist, and I believed that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. Okay. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt, and too guilty. I failed for sure. Others will come. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. Okay. Goodbye. He's not talking about Sean Hampton. Everyone's pointing me to Tom. Oh yeah, I want to treat him real quick. While you're here. Good evening, Mr. Dillon. What? Inebriation of Yes. There we go. Take the hey. Goodbye. A little bit of experience, nothing crazy. Let's look at this investigation I got. I got one here too. Come up with the grave diggers. I'll have to go all the way over there. I haven't been over there before. Why do I have a hideout? Maybe I have. Yeah, because I've jumped across this before. Hmm. I'm gonna try to take care of this poster thing real quick, and then, uh... Now I'll deal with the rest of this stuff. I think I can jump over here. 
Yep. Alright. Let's get back to this building again. Ooh, a large beast. Level 22. Are they not gonna fight this thing? they started to attack it after I showed up, I guess. I don't know why. They just let it sit there to begin with. I'm um, still a little concerned. It's a pretty high level enemy, all things considered. Ooh. That was a lot of loot, I guess. I mean, I don't do a lot of crafting, I guess. Outside of weapon upgrades, so maybe not. You the only guy in here? Sir, no steady move! Oh, got me anyway. I gotta let my stamina regen. I'll send you back to the fucking grave! Oh! Aha! Can I have this? Ah, I don't have to come back for it. Oh well. Run! Oh, cool. There's actual train moving around over there. All right, that's the hideout that I already have unlocked. I didn't realize there'd be a train moving. That's that's kind of cool. It's good to see life. It's locked. In the game, like outside of a uh, like what I see immediately. Is that, am I actually gonna be blocked from going over there? That's a little upsetting. Maybe if I went through the hideout, I could get over there. But why is, would the gate just not be unlocked? Wow, that's a little annoying. Um, because this is the way I went for the other. It's locked, all right. For the first quest area. Yeah, it's over here. It's like on the other. I'm sorry. What? Well, that's a little upsetting. I guess I'll just continue, um... With the other stuff. I wonder if I can do the, um... Oh boy, whatever it's called. Actually, especially if I talk to Tom, that gate will unlock. I probably have to go that way to find Sean Hampton. Give me the spark of Barlow. Seems like the guy really is on Sean Hamilton's trail. Stop with that flamethrower. All of you killing. Not enough blood for anything. 
Son of a gun. Alright, this is a little way. Okay. I kind of wish the um, target lock worked a little better. Well, I wasn't even in that. Whatever game. Make your own rules as we go. Okay. Alright. Hey! Got a weapon. You made a comment about Sean Hampton. The wounds on this corpse are deep, the result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, He's become a murderous beast. Yeah, so this might be the way to the... Where I'm supposed to be going. I'm gonna go back and talk to Tom. Just to make sure that I'm on the right track. Got enough blood to heal. Hello, old woman. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? That's sensible. I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburn. Stella Fishburn. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? Aha. Uh -huh. I can't remember the last time I had a good sleep. I've been nothing but worry. It's locked. So that's locked. So if I have to kill her to get that, don't want to kill her. At least not yet. <laughs> Loot all your stuff once again. Just rummaging. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. So you have questions about the flu, then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. Okay. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know. But it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you can just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my Seymour was just a lad. The poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. How do you pay the rent then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. That's good. Glad to see that y'all are doing okay. 
No hints. Goodbye. And she knows probably nothing about Sean Hampton, as I have to talk to Tom about that. You must be Sean. Hello, boy. Hello, boy. Oh. Hello. Good evening. No, Did I Rufus. scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. He's got a weird black line on the back of his head. Also, he's very ugly. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. The communists? Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough. No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. This city has abandoned so many of its children. It's tragic. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. Hmm. So long, Rufus. Let's go talk to her then, see what that's all about. Good evening, Mrs. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, talk, talk. Let me in. Stay too long, sir. Yo, Betty. What can I do? Uh, personal questions. The orphan that regards you as a mother. Please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. Okay, well, that was Goodbye, fascinating. Miss All right, let's get on out of here. So I wonder where her... How did he get down there? Oh, he's got anemia. I should probably fix that. I cannot enter. Can I eavesdrop whatever the heck is going on over here? So he goes down there. That's like something I can eavesdrop on. Evening. Ruth. Evening. Do you need help? A ri a ri <laughs> so long. Ruth. All right. Uh, let's go back in here and see if it resets him down there. Good evening. Of a little, a little interested about uh, that eavesdropping. I'm not doing a lot of the eavesdropping. There's a lot of um, things you can eavesdrop on to gather more hints. Oh, is this uh, son? Seymour? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you some questions, if I may. Don't like questions, or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburne, if you must know. Hmm. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Are you thinking about someone in particular? No. Nope. Hate them all. 
especially these petty, whining little shitbag beggars. I must not like, uh, what's his face then? Rufus. Is there no one who deserves your leniency then? Well, Tom from our local is somewhat of a decent bloke. At least, unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. It's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Okay, okay. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just want her to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated like. God knows she deserves it. Okay. No hints. Goodbye. Seems like there's a lot of decent people in this part of town compared to the other areas. Yeah, you do you require I mean, is it your purpose as well, Mr. All Goodbye, right. man. Another uh another fellow hilt. Alright, let's probably start looking for a place to save so I can call it an episode. But I want to go check out this dock. Alright, well, I found ten shillings. Ooh. And a chest with some grease in it. A dog. So how many people have I met in this area? I'm still missing one, two, three, four, five, six, six people. Everyone is recovering that I've found so far. That's good. That's good news. Right. So he's going back down there. So I wonder. What? Don't you think Miss Fishburne is nice to us? But I always have the feeling she's hiding something. For now, you're still the only real friend I have, Jack. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna talk to him about that, and then I'll probably call it an episode. I might try to, uh, I'll probably explore around a bit. And find all the eavesdroppy spots so I can try and like do that all in an episode and show y'all where you can eavesdrop on people. Evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. How come you consider it your only friend? I found Jack when he was a baby, alone amongst dead rats. Poison, probably. He was the weakest, but he survived. Just like me with my parents. Like you and your parents? When I was eight, my parents died in a car accident. Rumor says I didn't get a scratch. You don't remember the accident? No. I was little back then. It's been a blurry mess and very quiet in my head ever since. How have you survived? Did anybody take care of you? I don't have any family left, really. Except for the good Mrs. Fishburne. She's like my family now. Hmm. So long. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna call it here, and in the next episode, we'll, uh... figure out my way around this area. Okay, I know where I'm at. And, uh, hey, doop, 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 hold on. Alright, yeah, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you on the, uh, in the next episode.